Good afternoon guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna sit down and do some makeup. So as I have mentioned before, we're gonna do a series of makeup um, videos. For this one, uh, we're gonna do a full face of Revlon Cosmetics, my ultimate favorite ever since. For 15 years, <laughs> it's already it's only the brand that I have trusted as of this time. But uh, later on, sa mga future videos natin, let's try another brand. But for this particular video, we're gonna do a full face of Revlon only. And as you know, Revlon is one of the famous um, drugstore makeup brand. So we're gonna do a full face as of this time. Okay, so if you want to check out the final uh, result of the look, so please keep on watching. Okay, so I have already placed some moisturizer on my face, then sunscreen, uh, which is one of our favorites, the GT. So, para ma start itong video na to, we're gonna dive in for the first product of Revlon, um, the first step, which is our primer. So, um, this one is Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer, and it's 0.91 fluid ounces, 27 ml. So, as the instruction says, you need to apply this under your makeup. So, if you want to make your makeup stay for the longest time, so, primer is really advisable. Okay, so let's start with applying this primer. Okay, so, yung consistency niya, uh, medyo tacky. So, let's start this look by placing our primer from Reblon. So when you apply it on your face, hindi siya malagkit. So if you want to have your makeup stay for a long time, so you need to use the primer. So this one, I'm using the Reblon Perfecting Primer as the initial step for this makeup video okay so there's a lot of primers in the market so you can just choose whatever your skin is uh kung sa inyo yun yung gamitin nyo but since we're gonna do a full face of Revlon cosmetics so we're gonna use the primer of Revlon so primer is done so the next step is of course to choose our foundation all right so i have here two foundations from revlon uh, the first one is um, the revlon color stay full cover foundation so as i have tested they have a lot of shades but this one is the one uh, which is fitted for my skin tone so, my shade is Natural Beige. And um, it says here that this full coverage foundation can last up to 24 hours. <laughs> so, no caking or no fading. So, it's very lightweight. It blends seam seamlessly. And this one is already 30 ml. So, you can have this one for almost two months. So, depending on the usage. Okay. So, let's grab some sponge. So, we can apply this full. Oh, the other one is also uh, Revlon, which I use for the longest time. But this one, this is Color Stay. And the tone is also Natural Beige. It's also 30 ml. I don't know visible camera hmm. okay so that's the first um, foundation that I have been using for the longest time 
So let's apply this full coverage foundation. So I'm using a dump sponge so we can apply the full coverage foundation. So this is how it looks. So let's apply this on our face. Fortunately, hindi ako napagdala ng malaking mirror. So, let's just use my um, powder foundation mirror here to use this foundation. So, you can pat the skin mo or you can just rub all over. So, depende sa trip mo. Kung gusto mong mabilisan, so you can just apply it all over or you can just pat, 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 pat it on your face. So, for our third step, this is gonna be our concealer. So, uh, it's Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer and the shade that I was able to choose is Light Pale. So, we're gonna use it under eye and my chin and to hide my dark spots. Okay, so this is how it looks and that's the color. So, choosing your shade for the concealer, it should be one shade lighter than your foundation. So that's why I was able to uh, choose light pale. Let's go ahead and apply this. Alright, so I'm also going to use a sponge to distribute this concealer. So I have already placed the concealer under my eye, my forehead, and my chin. So this is the result. So medyo maliwanag kasi yung face natin sa lights dito sa room. Alright. So our next step will be putting a setting powder so that we can set that concealer that we have placed under the eyes. And um, yung mga tinago nating dark spots. Okay, so for the setting powder, we're gonna use Revlon uh, Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. So this one is already 15 grams. And the shade is 001. So this one, nakakaloka. <laughs> Wala kasi yung palaging stocks. So, hinintay ko talaga na magka-stock so that we can present this one on my video. <laughs> kasi hindi pwedeng, hindi pwedeng incomplete yung full face natin. So, we're gonna use my Anclaps brush for the setting powder. Then, we're gonna put it under my eyes. So, the setting powder is already here under my eye. Ayan. So, yung process na to, tinatawag na baking. <laughs> so, hindi lang pala sa tinapay nag-bake, pati sa makeup. So, <laughs> we need to set this for um, 2 to 3 minutes para kumapit yung concealer sa face natin. So, that's the purpose of baking. So, as you can see, meron na dyan. Bakit bang liwa? <laughs> Patayin kaya natin yung ibang slides. <laughs> Sige. So anyway, we're just gonna fix this look afterwards. So after putting your setting powder, we're gonna do the kilay. <laughs> then, uh, hayaan muna natin yung baking process dyan sa mata. And let's dive in sa kilay. So this one is uh, dual purpose. So, it has the eyebrow pencil. The other end is 
for brow definition. So, brow liquid gel. So, let's then do the brow and my uh, shade. So, as you can see, it's also Reblon. Bakit ayaw makita? Ayan. So, Reblon. Uh, brow Fantasy. And my shade is Brunette. Brunette ba? <laughs> okay. So, let's just do the kilay. So, yung ginagawa ko, of course, I already have um, yung pattern. <laughs> Sinusunod ko na lang. And then, I arrange my eyebrows na parang natural lang siya tingnan. So, let's do the key line. Let's just use the mirror from Revlon as well. So, now that the key light is done, so, i-dust off na natin yung binig natin na under eye. Para matanggal yung setting powder. So, using my Unclot powder brush, so, kunin natin yung nilagay na setting powder. on flick na ba? <laughs> Next step is of course our powder foundation and it's also from Revlon. So this one is photo ready and it's a two-way powder foundation with SPF 20 and PA++++ and it's already 10 grams, 10.5 to be exact. So it says here that the formula is very lightweight and uh, it really uh, lessen your visible pores <laughs> oil free fragrance free and it will do a flawless finish so as you can see here the packaging is nice and my um, shade is 130 the name is shell so I haven't opened it yet. So this is my old powder foundation from Revlon also. This one is beige. I mean natural beige. So I tried uh, using another shade for me. So let's just hope it works. I haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Wait. So I think similar naman sila ng look. <laughs> so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do so and hopefully you would like this video afterwards so i think this is a new packaging because uh the old one looks like this <laughs> uh use na use na siya <laughs> So this one is new, and this one is Revlon Photo Ready. Yeah. So using the sponge provided, or let's just use another powder brush from Unclots. <laughs> no, this one. Okay, let's go ahead and dip it. Oh, there's a lot of fallout. Pero ayusin na lang natin yun mamaya. So for my contouring, this is the product na gagamitin natin. So it's also Revlon and it's a two-way stick. It's a cream type contour um, stick. The shade is medium, 002. Kasi yung iba, medyo maitim na siya masyado. So, this is the one recommended for me. So, Revlon Photo Ready 
Insta Sculpt, and it's a dual purpose because this one is for contouring, and the other one is the highlighter. So we're gonna use it afterwards as well. So this is highlight illuminator, and this is how it looks. There, that's the highlighter. And the contouring stick, it looks like this. It's like lipstick. So guys, how do we contour? So I do this. <laughs> and the cheeks, the chin. Forehead and sa nose. Madali siyang i-apply kasi nga, stick siya. So, all you have to do is to follow that one. So, hindi na natin kailangan magpa-facelip. Daanin na lang sa contour. <laughs> okay, guys. So, after contouring, we're gonna do our eyes. So, I have here a Maverick um, Revlon Color Stay. Earth is the main color. So, as you can see, mga earth, earthy colors yung nasa loob. So, this is Maverick Rebel uh, Revlon Color Stay Looks Book Palette. So, it comes in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shades. So, may mga nagamit na ako dyan. Kaya, <laughs> may bawas na yung iba. So, let's do a swatch. Starting with that one. Then this. That one. This one. And this metallic. So, majority of the shades here are matte. Kita ko na lang sa inyo. So, these are the swatches. Ayan. So, lahat ng colors are earth colors. So, mahilig kasi ako sa dark. <laughs> so, you know, para matago yung pinatago mo, <laughs> mahilig ako sa dark colors. Okay. So, for this look, um, we're just gonna use at least two. So let's go ahead and use my eyebrow brush. Sorry, correction. Eyeshadow brush. <laughs> so this one and the other one. So all of these brushes are from Unflat. Um, okay. So, ano bang feel natin? Ano? So, yung, yung damit natin is light naman kasi. So, let's just go ahead and dive in sa medyo nude na color. Or, let's try this one. So, it's highly pigmented as you can see on the eyeshadow brush. So, let's go ahead and uh, use this one. So normally, I just pop in the color on my crease. There. Alright guys, simple eyeshadow is already packed in, in my eyes. So, what's next is, of course, uh, putting on some mascara. So, you just need to have the, this curl lash. Curler of your lash. <laughs> curl lash. What <laughs> Alright. So, uh, let me just go ahead and uh, put some mascara. So, we're going to use this one. So as you can see, it's also a Revlon 
mascara. So, iba yung pinofocus ng ano, ng camera, mga kainis. So, Revlon Vo Volumizing Mascara. And, uh, this one is already 9ml. So, this is the applicator. So, I'm just gonna do my lashes and get back. Alright, guys. Mascara is on. Not really a fun, but, uh, Normally, kasi ginagamit ko yung ano, Maybelline. But since we're doing a full face of Revlon, so I need to use it. <laughs> kasi I'm not really a fan of their, uh, this one, the applicator. Kasi hindi niya masyadong ma-cover yung eyes, yung eyelashes ko. So, yun lang naman yung downside niya. But, Pwede na. <laughs> okay, so moving on to our next product of Reblon is um, they have this Reblon Color Stay Cream Gel. So I'm gonna put it here sa, as my under eyeliner. So, a waterline. Para may buhay. Kasi I don't wear contacts. So, para ma-emphasize yung bottom lashes. Lashes. So, let's do the line. Waterline. Sa so, mga hindi sanay mag-eyeliner, normally maiiyak ka. Pero since I've been doing this for 15 years, so, <laughs> sanay na yung mata ko. Alright, so that's the Revlon Color Stay Crying Gel, Cream Gel. And the shade is 801 Caviar. So, it makes my uh, underlash more highlight. And uh, it makes you that bolder eye look. So let's go ahead and uh, put uh, some eyeliner. So this one is also Revlon Color Stay. And it's a uh, liquid eyeliner. Kaya lang, natry ko na to. <laughs> Ito yung itsura niya. So it's like a ballpoint. Wala kasi akong choice. Majority of the products normally if you do a full face for Revlon. Meron talagang product na hindi available. <laughs> so, this is the only available eyeliner na nakuha ko during our haul. So, um, basically, we're well, just gonna use it. But, um, mamaya, after the video, let's just give our final thoughts sa mga products ni Revlon for at least you have an idea kung ano yung pwede yung magamit. Yung hindi masyadong maganda. So, <laughs> so, let me just go ahead and put the liner on uh, my lid. So, this looks can be bolder. Okay, guys. We have already placed the eyeliner wing. <laughs> diba? Mas bolder siya. Okay. So, this face needs some life. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and put some blush. So, I'm gonna use one of my work favorites. The pink blush. So, this one is all sort of blonde. And, uh, Ravishing Rose with Shimmer. So, for oily skin, hindi siya advisable. Kasi nga, ma-highlight yung oily skin mo. But for me, since I have a normal to dry skin, Okay lang. So, let's just go ahead and put some powder brush. Okay. Dip in. So, this is how it looks. And let's do the blush. So, the blush is on. So, it's just a light pink. Let's go ahead and put some highlighter using the same stick that we have uh, 
showed kanina. So this one. So I'm gonna place it here and here. So we can have a highlighter. So the highlighter, guys, is a uh, place already here. It's not as uh, blinding, but it's there. <laughs> it's normally not that blinding compared to other highlighters, but it can do the work. So this is how it looks. And if you want to put some more, so just put it there and then distribute the product there there nah. <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and finish this look by putting lipstick so for the lipstick I have uh, two options here the mousse uh, blonde Hyper Matte Intense and it's Matte Lip Mousse. So the shade is Earth and the other one is uh, Matte Bound. So this one, parang my icy feeling siya or cooling effect when you apply it on your lips. So I'm gonna put or use the mousse one. Mas feel ko siyang gamitin. Kasi hindi nagdadry yung lips mo afterwards. Okay? So, this is how it looks. There. And maganda yung applicator niya kasi mas madali siyang i-apply. I'm not a fan of lip liner and wala rin si Le Revlone so I'm just gonna dive into the lipstick right away That's how it looks on your lips. So, bagay siya sa shade ng eyebrows natin. And sa eyeshadow. Alright, so basically these are the products na ginamit natin and to finish this look, we're just gonna use a setting spray. So as you can see, it's your blonde photo ready, prep, set, and refresh. Mist is the, um, I think the fragrance. Actually, wala siyang amoy. Pang refresh lang. So that you can set your full makeup. Alright, so let's go ahead and spray this one. Alright, so let's just let it dry. And this look is finished. <laughs> eyelash and contacts as of today <laughs> so this is the final look what do you think <laughs> so we have uh, used everything under the blonde cosmetics and it's time to dive in for my final thoughts Okay guys, so for the primer, my uh, I can recommend this one for the full cover foundation. I have already tested it several weeks already, so it's good. So the only thing that I don't like 
for those products that na I mentioned, then is number one is their mascara. Uh, it should be volumizing, but it's not really doing what's supposed to do. That's one miss. For the blush, it's too uh, not really pigmented, so parang wala ka lang blush. <laughs> but it's okay if you want to have a simple uh, glam look. So, ayoko yung <laughs> concealer nila. Madaling, ma ma uh, madaling mag-dry. So, nahirapan ako kanina i-blend. <laughs> Kasi, ang bilis matuyo. Okay, so, um, I'm not also a fan of their <laughs> eyeliner. Kasi nga, ballpoint siya. Para ka talaga nagdo-drawing. Ayan. <laughs> So, hindi siya madaling gamitin. Alright. But, overall, yung contour and highlighting, so, dapat magbilis ka rin mag-apply uh, tsaka mag-blend. Kasi, kung hindi mo siya kagad i-blend, natutuyo. So, this eyeliner, I don't normally recommend kasi nga yung ballpoint, <laughs> parang yung susulat ka talaga. So, it, medyo mahirap siyang i-wing. So, the lipstick is very nice. So, I can recommend this matte uh, Intense Ultra HD Matte Lake Mousse. And my shade is Earth. So, the contour and the highlighting stick is also good. But, you need to be uh, quick on applying it and distributing it on your face since it's quick dry. <laughs> so, mahirap yung blend kapag nag dry na. So, this cream gel... Uh, was able to use on my waterline. It's really good as well. Kaya lang, ito lang siya. So, madaling maubos. <laughs> so, the brow pencil and the brow brush with cream liquid is also nice. What else? So, the setting spray. So, this is also good for uh, setting spray. So, I can recommend this one. So overall, this is the final look of uh, our full face or blonde cosmetics. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And do comment below if you have suggestions for me for my next vlog. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!